We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Malik Washington, newest Miami Dolphins receiver the draft in the sixth round. Can't believe that he was available there. Definitely my favorite pick in the draft. This is one of my guys. Super, super excited that we got him. Really, really fun player, you know. Uh, you know, one of the like undersized slot receiver types. Um, and for me, a sixth rounder, I feel very confident for a sixth rounder that he'll make the team. For an undersized guy, he's got really, really good hands, like Usually undersized guys can struggle at the catch point. Like he's super, super reliable, makes it all the tough catches, has a really good vertical, goes up and gets it. So being undersized has a smaller catch radius. He has a 42 and a half inch vert, so he can make those catches, um, make them in contested areas, use them in, you know, multiple different ways. He's a fit within the offense. He's also a good route runner. He understands how to run routes with tempo and manipulate with his eyes and leverage. Tracks the ball well down the field. Good after the catch, like even though he's undersized, he breaks tackles like he absorbs contact really really well he's really well balanced and a good athlete he's got enough elusiveness he'll make you miss you know everyone will talk about the speed and all of that you know his speed's uh good enough but i don't think that's like uh, his calling card i feel like you know he's a pretty good athlete but it's just like all the other things combined uh where he's good at pretty much every part of the route you don't find many guys that are have good releases and good route running but then also being good at the catch point like he's very reliable makes a lot of tough catches and does it in multiple different ways and then also being solid after the catch, break tackles, make you miss. Um, very, very hard to find those guys who um, you'll feel very comfortable with in all those different scenarios. And to me, Malik Washington is one of those guys. Very, very excited to watch him go to work. He was one of my guys in this draft class and really, really shocked that they were able to get him this late into the draft. And his film is just littered with good tape. Even the little things he does really, really well. Um, and I could see him legitimately fighting for depending you know who the Dolphins added but legitimately fighting for uh, some targets this year so big fan of this pickup big fan of the player and uh, this one gets me really okay so here we got Malik in the slot I do think he is more of a slot option on the X out on the next level you're not going to see him too much on the outside but here winning on the slot fade does a good job with his release at the line of scrimmage and then creating that late separation with his hands but he doesn't create a ton of separation here like he's a guy that can get open and create separation he has the athleticism he knows how to run routes but even when he doesn't like complete um, you know, have a lot of separation. That's where guys at the next level get into trouble. But him, I like the split release, you know, give a little bit of foot fire, get on your way, you get the free release off the line. But the guy does a good job staying in his hip pocket, he uses his hands to fight down the field, and then boom, track the ball, full extension, make a diving catch. That's where Washington will make his money. Uh, a guy that's, you know, a little undersized and be able to make those tough catches fully extended. That's who Malik is. He's not your typical small slot receiver. You can also get him on the move. He was using multiple different ways on motion. He lined up in the backfield at times. He lined up, you know, tight to the line of scrimmage, which, you know, the Dolphins like to do with their receiving up moves where um, he'd really, you know, kind of slow play the out, not super hard sell it. But this is kind of like how they ran their outs in this offense versus zone. Does a good job exploding upfield and then kind of, you know, uh, lulling this guy to sleep. Brings his eyes, shoulders back to the quarterback. Uh, I feel like you, his best athleticism is probably his in-air athleticism when he explodes up in the air like that vert really shows off. And uh, I see if you, <laughs> but yeah, one sec. And then, yeah, the big play on the screen. Uh, that's kind of where, you know, Malik can make some money pretty much on all three levels. He can work the short to intermediate, but also make plays down the field. Here he's on the screen, you know, making the first guy miss, working off the back of his box. Boom, make Peyton Wilson miss, miss out in space, who's a pretty good linebacker, and run through the tackle. It's not like he just made a miss. He also breaks the tackle. Like, he absorbs contact really well for a small guy, which is a exciting aspect of his game. And out of the contact, being able to pull away from some of the guys. The other guys have angles. Um, he has good speed. Like, I think he ran a 4.47, which definitely shows up. I think, you know, it's not like elite end speed, but it's definitely enough to where you're totally cool with it at the next level. And then just tough catches, man. Catches away from the frame. Like, these are catches you see people drop, especially when you have that limited catch radius. Um, I like the alignment, too. Get him as, you're almost like as an off-ball tight end. Getting off the line of scrimmage here. I do think sometimes on his breaks here, on these, like, quick outs, he can be a, it could be a little bit more efficient, a little bit tighter. Sometimes he gets a little bit wide with everything, but that's kind of a, a little bit of a nitpick. But then once he gets there, he always catches the ball with his hands, man. Like even when it's low away from the frame, they're just littered all over the film of him making uh, good hand catches. This ball is low away from the frame. He catches it with two hands. Not very, you know, a very difficult catch on a third and four uh, to get basically near the marker. That is good stuff. Another example of him working this double move. He sells it really well. Looks twitched up. Tracks the ball in at the catch point. Another just example of him working down the field. Malik Washington making so many explosive plays. One of my favorite films to watch. I fell in love with his film 
him as a player months ago. He's one of my guys in this class, one of the guys I really wanted. Marked him for the Dolphins, and uh, he showed up. This game, I was actually at this game live. Because I, I cover Tennessee for, you know, one of my jobs. And I was at this game. And this is one of my favorite plays from Malik. Um, the, you know, he does the out enough up stuff. You can see from the other angle. It's nothing too crazy there, but it's more at the catch point. Like the, you know, alignment versatility here too. He does like the out up around the sideline. And then look at this in-air body control. The vertical jump to where he goes up in the air, catches this ball way above the frame. He gets so high in the air. And then he comes back down to the ground. He's able to stay on his feet, use that other hand to keep himself up. So it shows off balance, body control, great vertical explosiveness, and then still is able to turn into a runner after the catch. So without any other movement after hitting the ground, he's still able to make a move, bounce off the tackler, stay on his feet, and then still absorb contact from other people and not going down immediately. That is insane. I don't know how he fell to the sixth round. There has to be something that I'm just not aware of. Uh, but I really enjoy Malik Washington's film. And it could just be, you know, he's a small slot receiver and, you know, sometimes those guys fall. But there's other guys in this class that, like Jacob Cowing went in the fourth and I thought they were very similar type of players. Um, here's Washington in the slot again. Just nice to see him sit down first zone. He gets down uh, very efficiently uh, on these, like, quick hitches, curls, things like that. Um, and then, yeah, just catches the ball versus zone and then brace for contact, break the first tackle. Like, guy plays with toughness. Absolutely love that. He makes a lot of really exciting plays. Here's the quick speed out from a tight alignment. We got Washington right here. Get out, you know, to the boundary, create space right here. But then I really much want to notice this part. He kind of jumps at the catch point, which he showed it. But look at this with no feet on the ground for him to hit the ground and then instantly accelerate. This guy thinks he has a good angle on him. And look at this acceleration to turn out of that and just hit up field. Almost makes the next man miss. But wow, that is some insane ability right here. But from boom, boom, he gets up the field so fast, which is. Really, really nice. Like to see that extra burst of athleticism. Malik Washington kind of does a lot of different things for you. Can work the intermediate, intermediate short range like this too. He can be your screen guy. You can also just sit down, find that soft spot versus zone, which he does a good job. He's a pretty intelligent football player. And then brace for contact. Like sometimes he'll go down, but like there's plenty of times where he stays on his feet and makes that first guy miss, even when he's not like doing anything insane. He just does like the little subtle movements with your shoulder, brace for contact get outside, and then he picks up the first down, gets it when he shouldn't have. That is really, really exciting work from Lake Washington. You can also run routes uh, in multiple different ways. You've kind of seen the out and ups, but you can also do it from uh, other different things, all working on some inbreaker, like a, you know, a crosser across the middle like this. Look at, uh, he attacks the leverage inside here instantly, but then gives that hard stab back to the outside, which freezes this DB long enough for him to still get on his route stem, and he was open across the middle. They, they end up going over here, but the quarterback misses, and the quarterback missed him a lot as well. There's even more plays he could have had uh, super big, but just enjoy the routes um, here on a third down and medium, like a third and five, another quality route. He knows how to create separation, he knows how to work his timing, his tempo. He stays square, gets out of his break efficiently here, catches the ball with his hands like a yard short of the first down, then gets upfield, shows awareness to instantly catch it and get upfield and dive forward. And look, look at his position right here. In no way, like it doesn't matter because he goes out of bounds, but in no way should he be able to stay on his feet. That balance and strength is insane. Like he stays on his feet off this contact just from where his positioning was. So he's a really special athlete through contact. Um, just also a smart player, a good angle to float to the soft spot versus zone here. Catch it, know where the defenders are. So show the anticipation. So when you catch the ball, anticipate where this guy is. Make him miss instantly after the catch. Get upfield. Pick up a few extra yards than you actually should. He just keeps making uh, these hidden yardage plays over and over. They kind of, you know, scheme him open on a fourth and short, a fourth and one. He catches the ball. Has to flip his hips. Ball storm behind him. So he flips his hips, still catches it. Um, and then just fight through contact. Fight for extra yards. Carry people. You know, for a guy who's like 5'9", 190, like, it's special, man. It really is. I I really enjoy his his film. There's so many positives to it. You know, he'll have his negatives due to his size with the, you know, the, the lack of catch radius. I'm sure there'll be guys that can overpower him in press and stuff. But as a route runner at the catch point, making plays, he'll get down in the red zone, find the soft spot for that and stuff as well. He's a very exciting player. Even here, like we got him blocking on the edge. Like he, he's willing to go out and block. It's nothing too special or anything, you know. But even here, watch. Boom, the ball comes out. He finds the ball, just being an aware player, picks it up, turns into an athlete and runs into the end zone. Just wanted to show nothing like 
you know, too special as a play that really translates to the next level, but it's just a fun thing to show. Malik Washington, definitely one of my favorite players in this class to begin with. And the ending up on Miami, absolutely love that. So excited to see him go to work. I feel like he makes the roster. Um, the two guys that got drafted after him are going to be a little bit more of a battle, but I do like uh, Mick Morris. Uh, I think, you know, has a chance just because the safety room is pretty weak. And then I do like Taj Washington, and I'll get to their breakdowns too. I'm going to get to Kamara. I'm going to get to everyone else. Uh, I did Jalen Wright earlier today. Um, and then I'll get to the UDFA guys. So if you guys are the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get the comments.